Hello and welcome to this demonstration. In today's demonstration, I will show you how you can embed Oracle Analytics Cloud into an application created in Oracle Apex Express, which is a low code app development tool. This is a part of a series of demos I have done where the, the use case is predictive network analysis. So in part one, I showed how you can use Oracle Spatial Studio and Spatial Analysis to enrich your analytic work in Oracle Analytics Cloud. I then showed in part two how you can automate this process to do uh, automatic spatial analysis on your data sets in your database. And I will now go ahead and show you how you can uh, uh, share and present this information on a web application so you can share your your dashboard and your analysis uh, within your organization so what is Oracle Apex so I mentioned it's a low code web application development framework and it's automatically responsive which means you can use it for both uh, your desktop but also your mobile phone. It's suitable to visualize and manage data, uh, especially data that sits on your database, but also you can go ahead and pull data from other databases or from other uh, sources like web sources or APIs. It is low code, but the, most of the code that is used, if you going to add that, is SQL. So it's suitable for backend uh, developers as well. But as you're going to see, it's fairly easy uh, to use. So let's head into the demo. So we're now in Oracle Analytics Cloud. And for those of you who have seen the previous demos, uh, can recognize this dashboard. We are done with our spatial analysis. We have identified our power lines that are at risk from these strong winds and that could cause outages. We also identify how many customers that are at risk from and that are connected to these power lines. So we now want to create a web application to display this within the organization so you don't have to send these dashboards or share these dashboards. And perhaps you want to display some other things on this app application. So what we want to do first of all is to allow this web application to be a target for our dashboard. So I will go ahead and click on uh, the console and I will go ahead to save domains. And I will go ahead and add a domain here. So in my case, the domain is actually the autonomous data uh, base since it's it's where Apex runs, it runs on the database. So I'll go ahead and I will go to my autonomous database here. And I will go to service console. In service console, and you have development tab. And there you have restful services and, and soda. And there you actually have the link to the domain. And in my case, I used, I don't need the ORDS, so I'll just copy this segment. And I will go back to Analytics Cloud and I will paste that. Uh, I'm going to allow not only embedding for, for to be make sure I'm, I'm able to embed this, I, I allow all of the different formats. And yeah, I will go ahead and navigate back to the project in this case that we had or our dashboard. And I will head back to our autonomous uh, database in the Oracle Cloud. Here you have a set of tabs and one is tools and there you will find Oracle Application Express Apex. So I will go ahead and open that. In my case, I already created a workspace, which you can easily do in administrative services and perhaps uh, connect it to a database user, which I have done in this case. And I will simply go ahead and log in since I already have that set up. 
and we're faced now with the application express uh, interface where you build so you how you can go ahead and build apps uh, manage your data team development and you have some pre-done apps which you can actually go ahead and install and use but in this case I will keep the demo short so I will go ahead and start building my app directly so I have a number of apps here but I go ahead and click create you could load in an Excel file or a CSV file and import that data into the database and display that in your application. In my case, I will just go ahead and start with a plain new application. So we give it a name, uh, weather warnings or something like this, whatever suits you. You can choose appearance. As you might have seen, I like the dark theme. So I go ahead and select that. You could add some pages, so here you could uh, make your make more pages to your web application. So make some, perhaps some shorts over some previous outages, and uh, you could add some uh, forms or reports. In my case, I will keep it simple. I will have a home page page where I embed uh, my dashboard. However, I will check all here, so we get an about page and also an access access control uh, setting, so I can see set who can reach my application in the organization uh, also some theme style selection feedback uh, button and so on but you can go ahead now and create an application you're now faced with application development you can see the pages that are been have been set up but i want to see how it turned out just to see that everything is working and I will go ahead and log in since we have authentication on this one. And as you can see, it's blank. But you have your admin page, which we have set up with. You could uh, add users and set access control and so on. Uh, in my case, I want to embed my dashboard right here. So I simply go to edit page here. So what we want to do, first of all, is to give the file to our JavaScript. And if you head to uh, the dashboard and you click on the top right, you actually have a developer button here. And within that you have embed. And here you have your JavaScript. So in my case, I actually just need uh, uh, the link itself. So I'll go ahead and copy that. Uh, as you might note, here you have a section where you need to fill out embedding mode. In this case, it's standalone. Then I will go to the page itself and I go to content body and create a new region. And this will be my OIC dashboard. So I call it just OIC. And I need to provide a source and the source you is your project so here you have your pro, uh, project path however i have i have decided to add some div so that's a html section to give it some properties in height and width so i will go ahead and i will uh, paste that in i will save and i will click play so hopefully now we will be able to uh, see our dashboard. And there we go. We have now successfully uh, embedded our dashboard into, uh, into our uh, website. So we could go, go ahead now and do things like going to theme roller to change color and so on. Uh, you can just go ahead and copy this link and share it with your colleagues or in your organization and add some more pages of course uh, you could work on the design a bit uh, and provide more content on, on your on your website or your web application so just to recap quickly what we have done so you get an overview uh, this is the flow that we have been setting up in previous demo so on the left we have our weather data from SMHI. 
which we have pulled with a scheduled integration flow with integration Oracle Integration Cloud. We have then stored that data in the autonomous database. And with Oracle Spatial Studio, we have created a view which select the power lines at risk, which we pull into our Oracle Analytics Cloud, where we also do additional analysis of customers at risk. And traditionally, you would pull then reports. But in this demo, I showed you how we created a web application to share uh, your analysis and, and the, the segments at risk. And this is running completely on our autonomous database. So with that, thank you for watching this demonstration. Um, I might uh, create another part where I show you how you can do automatic notifications uh, through Slack using Oracle Integrations Cloud. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, this has been Rasmus Edwards and thanks for watching.